Port Adelaide fans, we are here at halftime in Powers Indigenous Round, our game against the Cats. I tell you what, the score's looking good at the moment. Well, we've made our way, thanks to Oak Plus, over here to the Eastern Stand to catch up with a, ex, a bunch of our ex-Indigenous players. They're here enjoying their night. Let's see if we can push in a little bit, see what we can do. We'll start here with Shane Bond. Now, Shane, uh, last game, last home game against the Suns, you kicked the first goal on the field. Now you're back here for our Indigenous round. Are we just making you a regular? <laughs> nah, it's great to be back and uh, catch up with all the boys I played with. Uh, I mean, Indigenous round is fantastic. They do it really well these days, so really happy to be here. I mean, Port really do put on a good show. There was, uh, of course, the curtain raiser in the Aboriginal Power Cup, which happened, and then we had a great pre-game show. Does it fill you with a lot of pride with what we're able to put together? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, the Aboriginal Power Programs, led by Paul Vandenberg, uh, they do a fantastic job, and uh, to see the uh, what the Aboriginal Power Cup did this week, and uh, to promote what our uh, Aboriginality is just a fantastic thing and uh, really proud to be here. Good on you, Shane. Let's, let's see if we can push through. We'll get here. Shane, get out of my way. Come on, mate. We'll get here. Choppy Pickett, uh, come through here. Now, Choppy, uh, I mean, you come with the resume, don't you? Two-time Premiership player, Norm yeah. Smith. But I think it's the name Choppy. Do we do nicknames well enough these days? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit lucky. I got my nickname from uh, my mum and one of my grandparents. Yep. So I reckon that's a good thing about getting a nickname from those those sorts of people and not your not your mates. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you you were really known for being tough, being the enforcer on the field. Do you like the big hits? And is anyone in our team uh, really standing up and embodying that these days? Yeah, yeah, I um, always just yeah. You know, I mean, I always used to used to do them only when they were. At, Arise, or if I could read the player well, but oh, um, mate, the, the moment arose a few times. <laughs> yeah, 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 it did a little bit, but um, yeah, the boys, the boys today, you know, I, th I think there's there is a couple of blokes here, like Bokey's hard at it. Oh, he is. No, uh, Holly Wines, big, you know, big body. Just there, there's a number of a number of guys that can, um, you know, obviously check the ball hard in that. For our Indigenous round, you and the boys, you led the guys out tonight. Did anyone get really get a little bit too serious about it? You know, that want to get out in the field? Uh, I don't know about too serious. I think I think Daniel, I think Daniel Modlov got really, really nervous. <laughs> yeah. Did he? Yeah, so he was close to crapping himself, maybe. But um, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's the words that come out of his mouth down the race. He was pretty nervous, but it it always get the goose goosebumps, you know, when you're in the race, especially at times like that. You know, get the boys walking the boys out is pretty special. Thanks, Chop. Much appreciated. Right. Let's uh, let's come down this way. We'll see if we can push down past Choppy and past Shane here because we've got new dad Jake Need. Jake, welcome back to the Adelaide Oval. You have lit it up here plenty of times, but this must be even more special. Uh, who do we have here? Yeah, we're little Jakey Jr. Uh, yeah, little Jake Jr. Now, uh, I saw on Instagram yesterday that some of the Power Boys were getting around. Uh, Power Peps, uh, he was out there looking after young Jake. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not sure I wasn't there, but um, I've seen, seen, um, seen a post that um, Pep put up uh, yesterday. Um, him and a few boys that went up to the Power Cup. Um, he, he went out there and um, his first Power, Power Cup too as well. Now, uh, Baby Jake, already drawn towards the teal. Do we already have the footballing vibes coming through? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what he's going to be yet. Um, <laughs> Can't put too much pressure on the kid yet. <laughs> oh, that's true. Well, I'm sure if he's got the need blood in him, he'll have plenty of magic. Thanks so much, Jake. All right, uh, let's see if we can come up. We've got Marlon Motlop here, legend of the Port Adelaide team, and is actually on staff with us as well as part of the communities program. Now, Marlon, we have had the uh, Power Community Cup over the last couple of days. Yeah. It has gone smashingly well. Over 400 students yeah. involved with the cup. How did it all go? Uh, yeah, it was a huge, huge couple of days. Um, our community team been working tirelessly, led by Kelly Graves and Paulie Vandenberg. But um, yeah, we've had 75 schools, over 400 amazing. kids. Yeah, so amazing day and um, you know, great to finish on Adelaide Oval. Well, that's right. The final was the curtain raiser here today. What about the skills of the kids? Yeah, there's some really good footballers um, getting around in SA. And now that women's footy's taken off, there's a whole group of um, you know budding footballers coming through as well. Oh, mate, it's exciting times. Thank you so much for all your work. Let's come around this way. We'll uh, sneak past. I've got a microphone cord wrapped around my ankle. That's all right. Deal with that. Deal with that. Let's keep going here because we have got two club legends. Come this way. Move through. All right. We have got the magic of Daniel Motlop here, mate. Now, your last game was the 2011, the first game pre-renovation here at the Adelaide Oval. You lit it up that day. Do you come out here tonight and think, 
wow, what what it's become. Yeah, look, it was exciting, you know, that, that game and to know it was actually going into what's happening today and what's happened in the last few years here at the stadium and how great it is. Um, you know, I sort of wanted to keep going because of it, you know, but, you know, time took, took its soul, I suppose, and, yeah, it was... Yeah, it's good to come here and watch footy now and watch the boys light it up. Now, speaking of Choppy before, he said, of any of the players that were coming out here tonight, you were maybe the most nervous. Is that how you're actually feeling? Oh, look, at, no, I don't know. You just come <laughs> because you're always worried about your little brother playing and yeah. you hope he does well. And, you know, players go through certain stages of, of the season and you just want them to come out of it no matter who it is. And, you know, fans seem to get, get on top of them and make it worse, I suppose, rather than, you know, cheer them up and get them back on stage. And Paddy Wright has gone through a bit now and... You know, and he wants to come back and he'll play good footy eventually, you know, so... I'm sure the boys will be back in the team sooner rather than later. Speaking of, Stephen, you guys are actually in a family business now, something wild in the Adelaide Central yeah. Markets. Is he behind the counter very much? Does he get much time to help out? Oh, look, we, I try not to pester him too much, you know. Like, it's, it's a week-to-week -week basis with these footballers these days and you don't want to have meetings. Like, when you lose a game, the next week you're sort of struggling to go to work or, yeah. you know, get in the, involved in the business, so... No, no stress on him. He rings me up every day off and says, what are you doing? And <laughs> he pops in, has meetings with yeah. restaurants with me, which is good. Um, so it's just setting him up after footy because footy doesn't last a long time. And, um, you know, footy ain't everything in life. You know, it is to a lot of people, but after footy, you've got to find your way. Well, mate, uh, it is fantastic. Check out something while the Adelaide Central Markets. Thanks so much, Daniel. Uh, Shay, if we can get a moment of your time, mate. Shay, you played 25 games for Maggie, 75 for the power. But coming out here tonight with all the ex-Indigenous players, is there something special about being part of that foundation of the Indigenous part of Port Adelaide? Well, yeah, Port's always had um, um, contribution from um, Aboriginal people and communities, fans, family and players. Yeah. And they've always just, it's hard work, but um, Port, you know, Port's always valued it. Catching up with the ex-Indigenous players here, who do you reckon's been in the best paddock since they finished up on the game? Yeah, that's what... We're going to have to sit down and judge that, but there's uh, <laughs> a few, a few, oh, I, a few. Uh, listen, but, I mean, but, but I'm not throwing stones in glass houses, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, let's have a look. Nah, no, that's no, no, all right. No. You're still looking fine, Shane. Thanks so much, mate. Enjoy your night. No worries. Port Adelaide fans, it is a fantastic way to celebrate our Indigenous heritage here for Indigenous Round. Hopefully we can have a huge second half against the Cats. Thank you to Oak Plus.